where do you see this as a problem in the near future and maybe the far future? Yeah, my kind of normal joke about this is there's a reason I live in a cabin at the end of an 80 mile dirt road, you know? <laughs> like being a little too much, I guess. I'm not as bullish as a lot of people, to be honest, right? Like it is the math for artificial intelligence has been around since the 50s. We're just at an inflection point where the compute power, right? The actual physical hardware able to run large data sets through algorithms that have been thought of for years is coming to fruition. That's why you have things like ChatGPT. Um, really booming the last year, you have the company NVIDIA who went from like a $1 billion market cap company to like $3 trillion or something like that in the last year because they build the chips and everything that power, you know, the ability to run these algorithms. So it, it's not like it's new things, right? It's just the application of them. Um, I am more bullish that you know, there will always be human interaction and intervention in a lot of these things, which will keep a little bit of the nefarious purposes away. But at the same time, there are people at the helm and some of those people, you know, want nefarious things. Like you see the ability and where I get concerned, right? The ability to target ads or you know, news articles at vulnerable individuals who might not be able to discern what is or isn't a either a a real piece of information or, you know, they just don't understand the concept of targeting, right? And are able to kind of let it go. And like I have experience there. So I know when I'm getting certain ads for certain reasons, you know, people think, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about such and such yesterday and all of a sudden I got an ad for it today. It's not that things are listening to you. It's like your actual behavior across all your devices, everything you're interacting with is being fed into some model somewhere for a company to be able to take an action and give you that well of a targeted ad. Um, and that's scary. I'm more worried about the kids and my kids and their interaction and limiting how their digital footprint is being used. And that's where, and I don't have an answer for this to you know, really answer. I'm just kind of opining here a little bit. It's these generations that are coming up where their digital footprint is being tracked constantly, whether your kids on YouTube kids or wherever, like there is a pattern being built there that some company that is funding that can use to then target them in a meaningful way for them, not necessarily for your kids. And you, know, you and I, we probably went, got a DSL connection in our 20s or something, right? And it was, you know, the world was open and it was great, but even companies back then didn't know how to handle the data that was being produced. So, you know, we largely don't have a big digital footprint, but now you have companies who are, you know, from the jump now know how to handle data, how to annotate it and hold it in a way that can actually feed into a machine learning algorithm meaningfully. And, and that's going to be detrimental for our kids. And figuring out a way to limit that is vital. And I don't know how that happens. I don't know if it does happen. And that's what's scariest to me is the impact on the youth and how everything is just going to be a materialistic you know, push for consumerism that is not necessary or meaningful. 